Hi everyone. Okay, so this is the dreaded verse. <laughs> this is the most dreaded verse in the entire Gita, 932. Um, Okay, so let's get through with it. I will sing, let's sing the verse together and uh, let's get done with it. Let's get past this. I, yeah, it's, I, I, I am getting emotional. I, I really, really, this, this knocks me off, like in believing that God can be loving, you know, Krishna can be loving. How can Krishna write something like this and still be a pure loving God? Because it is so, every single woman who reads it gets triggered at least first time. And afterwards, they're able to move past it or whatever, but they get triggered. It's not, it's very insensitive. So I'm like, how can he write something like this? Anyways, so let's uh, sing this verse together. Mam hi patha vya pashritya ye pisu su papa yonaya. That is my thing, papa yonaya. And that is sinful birth. And then he explains who is the sinful birth. Striyo vaishya stha shudras te pi yanti param gatim. O son of Pritha, those who take shelter in me, although they be of lower birth, he's saying it's sinful birth, basically. Papa means sin. Um, you can see anywhere in the Gita, Papa is translated as sin. So he has tried to be a little bit uh, gentle here, Prabhupada. So uh, those who take shelter in me, though be of sinful birth, women, Vaishyas and Shudras can attain supreme destination. Both Prabhupada and uh, Swami Mukundanand have not written anything about uh, women here. They have talked about Vaishyas and Shudras. Um, so he's saying anyone, even the lowest, uh, lower than Vaishyas are sh sh and Shudras are called Chandals or dog eaters. And even they can be purified. Everyone can be purified. Um, and what you what needs to do that is uh, vyapashritya, vyapashritya. One has to take shelter completely of Krishna and then one can become greater than jnanis and yogis. Here the translation itself is not written that. All those who take refuge in me, whatever their birth, race, gender or caste. He is not said specifically striya, vaishya and shudra, which is women, vaishya and shudra. Even those whom society scorns will attain the supreme destination. All those who take refuge in me, who are vyapashritya, vyapashritya. So then here he explains the Gyan Yogi, the eligibility for Gyan Yogis is uh, four qualifications. The eligibility of uh, Karm uh, Yogi, Karm Kand is six qualifications. The eligibility of uh, Ashtang Yogis, there are st strict regulations. But in Bhakti Yogi, it can be done anytime, any place, um, by anyone, any circumstance with any material. So this is kind of the, the thing. So... Uh, and it's he's uh, quoting Padma Puran from there. So he only cares. He doesn't care about who performs devotion. He only sees the love in our heart. And he's willing to accept everyone, provide they come to him with genuine love. And that's it. That's all he cares about. Okay, I am uh, moving past this. Wish you a day filled with lots and lots of spiritual growth. Radhe, Radhe.